Hello, this is Zahra Ibrahimi, a master's student of computer engineering from Sharif University of Technology. It is our pleasure to present you our article in which we have proposed a power efficient FPGA architecture augmented with power gating to reduce the FPGA power consumption in the dark silicon era. Well, a good question would be why is there any necessity to do this research? With the exponential growth in transistor density and downscaling of transistor feature size, Static power has become the major contributor of the total power. To clarify, in 28 nanometer FPGAs, ever increasing static power contributes more than 50% of the total power. Since static power per transistor could not decrease with the same pace of its area, static power has created a power wall that restricts full utilization of silicon dye in future FPGAs, as shown in this figure. Another important motivation is higher power consumption of FPGAs compared to ASIC based designs which hinders their usage in applications with limited power budgets. In this slide, we can see that lookup tables or LUTs implement the logic of target application. Despite the full flexibility of LUT in implementing any function, it suffers from high power consumption, area footprints, and delay which mainly arises from its structure with high number of SRAMs, large input buffers, and the multiplexer tree which grows exponentially as the size of LUT increases. It becomes more important when we consider lower area of logic resources compared to routing with the same power consumption in both, so the power density in logic resources becomes much higher than routing which can cause further thermal challenges. The incentive behind proposing a novel FPGA architecture is the non-uniform distribution of functions in applications that results in the poor logic utilization of LUTs. That is, first, significant portion of functions don't use all of LUT's inputs. Second, appearance ratio of functions is not the same and the limited set of functions appear much higher than the rest, making the generous structure of LUTs wasted. In this article, we propose PIF, a fine-grained heterogeneous architecture based on static power gating. PIF is able to improve both powers in terms of dynamic power and static power and performance. In PIF, each four input LUT has been replaced with a so called megacell, which comprises a combination of three efficient reconfigurable hard logics, namely RHL and the smaller three input LUT. In every megacell equipped with the power controller, only the RHL or LUT tree that is responsible to implement the function remains on, and the rest three modules are power gated. If a megacell is unused, it becomes entirely power gated. We also propose a novel technique referred to as logic SRAM sharing or LLS scheme. Since at most one of RHLs or LUT is activated per each application configuration, their SRAMs can be shared. The methodology of proposing efficient RHLs is based on our comprehensive investigation on a large set of standard and industrial benchmarks. Our investigation reveals that up to 97% of functions have the same homomorphic structure, namely the MPN class representation. Each of these limited number but high coverage MPN classes can be implemented with either one of simple design RHLs or LUT3. The remaining functions will be decomposed to be implemented by using two or as most three cells based on Shannon expression. Here, as an example, we illustrate the design flow of RHL1. Other RHLs are obtained in a similar way. As you can see, the most frequent MPN can be implemented by a tree AND based RHL. The next MPN is implementable with a cell containing two AND gates followed by an OR gate. These two designs are transformable to each other through using three reconfigurable inverters. To optimize the primitive design of RHL1 and considering the third frequent MPN, the final design of RHL1 is illustrated. This slide represents the structure of the reconfigurable power controller, which has four controller SRAMs. Taking advantage of logic SRAM sharing, the final megacell has only eight SRAMs. It definitely improves the leakage power by eliminating the leakage of unused power gated SRAMs. Moreover, the area overhead imposed to the PIF architecture is diminished. Since RHL1 covers about 60% of all functions, the RPC is designed in such a way that when RHL1 is used, just 5 SRAMs are powered on. The experimental setups are detailed in the article. In this slide, we summarize the results among all architectures. PIF is able to surpass all the other architectures in terms of the critical path delay, 
static and dynamic power, and of course, power delay product or PDP. The performance, power, and PDP improvement of FIF comes with the cost of 18% area overhead. However, with increasing the percentage of dark silicon, this overhead is not significant. As shown in this slide, when it comes to industrial FPGAs such as Vertex 2, which have larger device size, PIF acts even better due to the higher unused logic resources. In the future work of this paper, we will provide RHLs optimized for 6 input LUTs as high performance architectures. Thank you for listening to this presentation. We look forward to hearing from you if you have any question related to this article, probably through the email.